Hello, my name is Jeff Robins. I'm the lead trainer for the Nature Research Academies, which are interactive training workshops to help support searchers in their careers. Choosing the right journal will be one of the most important decisions you will make regarding your research. Today we're here at the Pilot National Laboratory for Marine Science and Technology in Qingdao, which is located on the east coast of China. Today's workshop is all about publishing, so we're trying to help develop the writing and publishing skills for all the attendees to increase their chances of publication success and to help maximize their research impact. So I'm going to show you four investigators, and I want you to tell me who deserves to be an author. QNLM is a national innovation platform operate the large scale research facilities and be sure the welfare and health for the ocean through the science discovery and the technology innovation. So who here thinks investigator number one should be an author on the paper? Today we had about 100 attendees, mostly between the early to mid-career level. Predominantly they come from geosciences and marine sciences, so we're sure to tailor all of the content and examples to be relevant to those disciplines, so in that way they're easy to understand and also more practical to apply. But of course we can also tailor the content for a range of other disciplines as well, such as biomedical research, physical sciences, clinical research, or social sciences. We choose the Nature Academy because Nature is not only the famous publishers, but also we have a lot of experience with scientific rating trainings. So here's a paper that was published in Nature Materials. And why was this paper able to get published in Nature Materials? Actually, since 2016, we co-organized with the Nature Academy to organize the training course and get a lot of good feedback from our researchers. The Academy is very interesting and fascinating. In the room, everyone is actively involved in the discussions. So if you're a journal editor and you're trying to assess whether or not this paper is suitable to be published in your journal, can you make this assessment? So the academies are high quality content, all of which has been reviewed and approved by nature editors, so institutions can feel confident with what we are presenting to the attendees. Furthermore, the workshops are face-to-face, -face, interactive, to stimulate engaged and active learning amongst the participants. And we do this not only with lectures, but also with interactive activities and a lot of stimulating questions. So how can you choose journals that you may want to publish in? So let's ask somebody on this side of the room. I think the Academy will help me a lot. And on one hand, it uh, improves my manuscript writing skills and uh, uh, make it easier for me to write a, a high quality manuscript. And uh, on the other hand, uh, it lets me know uh, what the editors want, what the journals want. And uh, it will increase the chance of my manuscript being accepted. Today's workshop was focused on publishing, but we also have other workshops that are meant for journal editors to help them better manage their journals, how to be an effective peer reviewer, as well as how to apply for research positions, or even a newer workshop that we recently developed on science communication to help researchers introduce and discuss their research broadly to the public. Actually, it's my second time to attend this academy. Around this time last year, I started to write my first scientific paper in English. And with help from what I learned from the academy, I got published in this year. We really take the time to try to understand uh, the needs of the host institution as well as what they're hoping to accomplish with this workshop. With us knowing who is going to attend, what the level of experience they have, 
and the disciplines that they research on, we can ensure that the content is going to be appropriate to help maximize the benefits for all the participants.